Hi, Troy. Um, we were asking uh, Coach Lamb about the substitution patterns on the defense specifically. What, what advantages can you see in the first three, three games for having some good depth on that defense? How does that benefit you? And how do the guys react to the situation when they're not in and a guy's doing well? I mean, I think at the end of the day, just being able to have guys have the depth, have the, I guess, the trust to put, you know, put, put any guy in is going to play at our advantage because we, it's, it's fresh legs and it's a, a guy that's able to, to go out there and play at a play with a hundred percent effort and not have to worry about being tired and, and all that kind of, all that kind of stuff. But uh, I mean, it, I think whether, whether you're the guy in or whether you're the guy that's, you know, support your teammates, I think we, I think we all want to strive um, for, for great plays and, and to play, to play the game to the best of our ability. It's not like, you know, if we're not in, we're hoping the guy in front of us does bad. Um, we're, we're very, uh, we, we, we want everybody to do well on the team, whether it's us or whether it's the guy next to us, uh, just so that we could be great together. Okay, we'll take a question from Jay Drew and then Mitch Harper. Hey, uh, Troy, as far as kind of preparing for UTSA, they've played four different quarterbacks. It looks like their original starter might be back. How is that affecting preparation on you guys' end? Um, you know, we look at we look at all four of those guys as, as great players, and, and they've all played for a reason. Uh, they've, they've got talent, and, and we respect each one of their game. Uh, so we, we take a good look at each one of those guys, and, and uh, whichever one it'll be, we'll, we'll be prepared for, and, and uh, we look forward to just for the opportunity this week. Troy, what's led to this fast start? I mean, same guys for the most part, personnel-wise, but obviously much different results and execution. What's, what do you feel has been the biggest reason for the change? Um, you know, it's hard to pinpoint one thing, but, you know, kind of like I've mentioned before, each, each guy on this team is really hungry, um, and, and we feel really grateful to be playing this game right now. So it's just a matter of not taking one, one day for granted and uh, like I said, I think a lot of guys on this team is hungry, and and uh, each week we feel like there's a new opportunity to to correct the mistakes that happened in the last game, and that's what motivates us. Uh, so we just we, we try to stay hungry, stay motivated as much as we can, and and uh, yeah, just come prepared each week. Okay, Brandon Gurney, you're next. Yeah, how many games is it going to take the Padres to beat the Dodgers? I'm saying three. I wish I wish I even paid attention to that right now. I, I haven't really been paying attention to much baseball right now. Well, my real question is: um, we were hoping to talk to Micah Harper, but uh, what are your impressions of him? Uh, kind of like you coming in as a true freshman and, and getting a lot of time at cornerback. Give us give us uh, your impressions about him and maybe some of the other young guys that are helping out in the secondary. Yeah, I mean, I, I was just talking to Micah out at practice uh, just earlier and kind of just telling him how impressed I was with how he's been handling things and as a, as a true freshman. And uh, just I've been telling him, you know, he's, he's going to be a great player for BYU and, and, and just, to, uh, just to keep his head down, stay humble and keep grinding and, and progressing each day because uh, he's, he's got a long ride ahead of him. But, but he's showing a ton of upside and we're really excited about what he can do for us. And, and that goes for all the, all the other young guys that have been playing for us. We've seen a lot of a lot of spurts of, of just big time upside, and so that that's really exciting to see from from young talent um, and what that can do for their confidence going forward. Let's go with uh, Mitch Harper next. Yeah, Troy, what do you uh, make of all the the attention that you guys have received as a team, and maybe also specifically? Zach Wilson, the accolades and, and attention he's getting. What, how has the team responded internally to that? Yeah, I mean, look, like the the, the attention's great, um, and, and we we obviously we love it. But at the end of the day, like we we haven't done really anything yet, and and that's what keeps us grounded. We're we're trying to strive to 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 get better every day, and that and, and that's why I say we're trying to correct you know the mistakes we had in the last game, so that we can prepare ourselves for the next game even more. And, and just expound on, on what we're trying to build here. Um, but, you know, for Zach, it's, he's doing things that, that I know he could, he, he, he could do from the get-go. Um, he's, he's one of the only quarterbacks that I've seen make just insane throws and, 
And uh, you know, when, when you're when you're doing so well, it's kind of hard to stay humble. But I, I try, I get in his ear all the time, and I tell him, you just gotta stay humble, keep grinding, and and not just just not get too comfortable. Uh, you know, just look, I just want to see him do really really well this well really well this year, and uh, I think he will. What does the success of the offense do for you guys defensively, and how you play maybe a little more aggressive? I mean, how 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 does the offense's play impact you guys, and how you? approach to play calling and things like that? Yeah, I mean, that's a good question. Um, I think just, that's just as a defense, when we see when we see the offense doing really well, it just it, it builds like builds up this confidence uh, that just exudes throughout the team. And, and uh, we just we can go out there and just play so much more relaxed and and just, you know, just fly around and, and make big plays. Uh, and, and, and that's vice versa for the defense when we're playing well. I think that that allows the offense to just go out there, play relax, just, you know, do what they got to do to to help us win games. And, and I think we're doing really well to just kind of bounce off each other and, and uh, you know, play as a team and, and do things the right way. And that, that actually goes for special teams as well. I think we're clicking on all cylinders right now. It's just a matter of being consistent and keeping it going. Okay, we'll take a question from Tyler Gibb, and then Jay Drew will be our last question. Yeah, Troy, we saw uh, Fred respond to a tweet of your interception that said, I'm the brother of BYU defensive back Troy Warner. What is kind of like that communication between you and Fred throughout the season and how you're able to help each other with your games? Yeah, I mean, we, we talk literally every day we're on FaceTime, and, and you know, he's giving me little little tips of what I can do better week to week. And, uh you know, it's it's just uh, it's it's a unique situation for me to have you know a guy who's excelling at such a high level in the NFL. Um, you know, I don't take it for granted. I'm in his ear all the time, trying to figure out what I can do to be great. And uh, you know, it's just it's a uh, it's it's fun. It's uh, one of those situations that I feel like is very unique and doesn't come along very often for most people. And so I kind of just like to take advantage of it. And and the fact that we were so close is is uh, I, I'm very grateful for it. So. Hey, Troy, as a San Diego guy, what kind of popped into your mind when you saw the Cougars were hosting the Aztecs on December 12th? <laughs> uh, I mean, the first thing that popped in my mind was how cold it's probably going to be. Uh, <laughs> that's definitely going to be a freezing game. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how they, uh, how they do with such a cold game coming out here in Utah. But, uh, but yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm excited. Getting to play my, my, one of my hometown teams, uh, it's obviously a, a special opportunity me and so uh really really excited about that one uh but obviously taking it one game at a time 